I am Hannah Anna, and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things spooky and welcome to my spooky season upload where I am uploading two to three times a week every week in October. Before we get into this video I wanted to quickly say that the lighting is really bad because usually I film whenever it's day out and I use natural light but right now I'm using artificial lighting because it's dark out but I still wanted to film today. And I also really quickly want to say that I got these adorable earrings. I had them, well, I had them last year and I used them, I think, for only like a couple of my videos for my Spooky Season series on my vlog channel, which was before I made this. And I'm probably going to wear these during investigations. Anyways, <laughs> today we are talking about mandela effects so mandela effects are actually more of a conspiracy theory but i wanted to talk about it today because i found it kind of spooky and i feel like you guys would enjoy that i really really have fun looking into those types of videos if you're not familiar with what a mandela effect is a mandela effect is basically something that so many people believe was one way but it, in reality, it's another way. So like, say cup. We all think it's C-U-P, but if in reality, it was actually like C-A-P, which that's not true, but I'm just using that as an example. So Mandela Effects is named after Nelson Mandela because so many b people believe that he died on this one day, but in reality, he didn't, and that's actually a day that he got an award. They decided to name that little effect after him. So there's so many conspiracy theories on what a Mandela effect is, but so I'm just going to be talking about, I think, two. The first one is that there are alternative universes, and sometimes we get switched into another one and our universe is different than what it was before but i don't i find that one really strange too much to wrap my head around <laughs> the second one is my favorite one i don't really believe this one but i find this one really interesting and kind of funny this one is that mandela effects are actually caused by time travelers you heard that right time travelers <laughs> The theory is that a time traveler went back in time at this one point and it caused the butterfly effect. If you don't know what the butterfly effect, it basically means if something is changed, something big can go wrong. So a time traveler went back in time and changed one little thing and it actually ended up causing all these different experiences, different spellings and yeah. So I found that one really interesting, really funny, but, and the last one is more of a psychological thing. This one is that our brains just process it as one way because it's easier for our brain to believe. I'm not very good with that kind of stuff, but I'm sure you can look all those theories up and I actually believe the last one. I think that's the most likely one, but Mandela effects are fun to talk about either way. I'm going to be giving a little bit of examples of some Mandela effects. So the first example is Chick-fil-A. A lot of people remember Chick-fil-A being spelled C-H-I-C-F-I-L-A, but really it's C-H-I-C-K- F-I-L dash A. The chick is spelled right, but so many people believe the chick being spelled without a K and thinking that's why Chick-fil-A was so interesting. I remember it being spelled without a K. Chick-fil-A came to, to my town like two years ago and I still remember this from watching videos of Chick-fil-A. So this one is really crazy to me and that is that in the Star Wars trilogy, whenever Luke Skywalker finds out that Darth Vader is his father. Darth Vader never says 
Luke, I am your father. No, he never says that. Ever. The line is actually, no, I'm your father. Before watching Star Wars, I remember hearing, Luke, I am your father, all the time. Like, there's shirts of it. There's little ornaments that say it. There's signs that say it. Everywhere it says, Luke, I am your father. But he says, no, I am your father. Whenever I watched that for the first time, I was so disappointed. I almost threw something at my TV. Another one is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The evil queen does not say mirror, mirror on the wall. She says magic mirror on the wall. Another one is that, do you remember the show The Berenstein Bears? Where it was like, they're little bears. <laughs> I loved that show when I was little. But it's not called the Berenstein Bears. It's called the Berenstain Bears with an A instead of an E. No. I'm just trying to process all this information. Even though I already knew all of these were Mandela effects, I still can't believe it. But another one is that in the song, We Are the Champions by Queen, at the end, they don't say, of the world. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know how everybody sings at the end of that song. Like, we are the champions do, 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 of the world. That's not there. The of the world is not at the end of the song. It just ends. I remember singing of the world at sports games and stuff. And now, like whenever they play that song at football games or something, people still sing that line, but it's a line that never existed. How could we all know this line that doesn't exist? Why would we all make this up? Freddie Mercury needs to rise up from the dead and tell us the truth because I know of the world is in there. You know Monopoly, the board game? Well, what does the Monopoly man look like? The long handlebar mustache, the hat, a cane, and a monocle. But he doesn't have a monocle. It's like my entire life is a lie. So this last and final one is Kit Kat does not have a dash in between Kit and Cat. I remember there being a dash in between Kit Kat. False. Those are a few Mandela effects that we were learning about today. I know this video was just me <laughs> ranting about the way you spell things. <laughs> None of these are spelled this way. What do you guys think? Do you remember any of these Mandela effects? And if you have more, please let me know, like in the comments. And also, which theory do you believe? Do you believe one of the three that I said? Or do you have another one? So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I really quickly wanna say, look at my cute little ear. There are ultimate alternative universes. And yes, I watched every single Star Wars movie. But that's not on topic. I need a sip for this. I need to have some water. Lies, I tell you. Lies.